Tony, Wayne, New Jersey, WABC. Go. Mark, how are you? God bless you. Thank you for taking my call. And God bless America. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, Mark, I was uh, flipping around the channels, and I landed on The Daily Show, and uh, John Stewart was saying... The Daily Stupid Show, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, John Stewart was saying that uh, there is not one example of small government ever working in this country. And I was wondering if you, maybe you could, you know... Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What does that mean? I, I can't imagine. I mean, getting the government out of the way and letting the people... You There's know. not one example of small government working. Well, how does he think this nation uh, became so prosperous? It wasn't by government. Let me reverse that. There's not one example of authoritarian government working. Right. And as a matter of fact, uh, there are many, many examples of authoritarian government um, slaughtering people, uh, making more and more people miserable. You know what bothers me about dumbasses like John Stewart? Um, they benefit from the First Amendment. They make millions and millions of dollars. And they luxuriate in this society. And they attack it. Absolutely. They act like, they, they act like they're revolutionaries. They act like they're cutting edge. They, they act like they're, uh, uh, they're proving something. Like they're, they're so sharp and so wise. And what they are are buffoons. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more, Mark. So uh, there, there aren't examples of small government working. Does he have five, by the way, five examples of nations that have relatively small governments? No. Right. No, because, because today all governments are large. But clearly our society, uh, and by the way, I don't know, even know what he means by small government. You know, uh, you can have a very, very uh, oh, am I, aggressive government in areas where the government's allowed to be aggressive under the Constitution, or uh, or fulsome, or comprehensive, or what have you. But the point is, um, there are very few societies that do well, uh, where the people do well, uh, where they don't have a, uh, a Constitution, and where they don't have a respect for private property. So we get these moronic statements on the Comedy Channel, and here's the thing about him and the other doofus, uh, Stephen Colbert. And by the way, he used to be a C actor. I used to see him on Law and Order now and then. What they uh, what they don't get is that, or or what I what bugs me is that guys like this, who really just kind of spew the uh, common left wing uh, uh, talking points, are considered really cutting edge. Oh, they're so sharp. Uh, uh, what they are basically is sarcastic, and they attack the system. And as I said before, these are multimillionaires. These are guys who benefit from the Constitution, and yet they uh, they don't get it. What else can I say? I guess that's about it. I guess our our country isn't a good enough example for them of you know letting the people you know progress for themselves instead of the government you know trying to run health care or. Well, well, you know, Tony, I said it about somebody else, and let me say it about this this a-hole, uh, John Leibowitz, a.k.a. John Stewart. He's got to decide what he is. He's got to decide if he's a foul-mouthed circus clown or a philosopher king. In his case, I think he's a foul-mouthed circus clown. We'll be right back. 